subscribe it's all about the blues harmonica and uh, today I'm looking at a great uh, blues tune called Crosscut Saw. I did do another video on this the last video I've done basically for people starting it's called easy 12 bar and although I'm not playing Crosscut Saw at the start I do show this idea If you look at that, if you're starting out intermediate, have a look at that first. It's why it's actually a version I really do like. Actually, um, you know, it's a, and it, I've shown it quite a, a very sort of easy way to do it. I just don't want to repeat it here. Um, on this one, I'm playing a figure where we've dum dum da 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 two draw twice six blow four draw five draw. Two draw, six, twice, up to six blow. Four draw, five draw, four blow, four draw, five draw. That's the figure I'm using. But, I think if you listen to where I've put these videos on at the start, the end, or in the middle, I don't know, I'd only just pick the track and blew on it. And I think what I might have done at some stage is gone see I just dropped a note but I still made it fit just as I'm working my way into it it's always good to do this always good to stick a track on or play, play straight off and do it as if you're doing a gig make it fit the time and mold it as you hit it because a lot of the time that's how you have to perform um, you know so it's, it's, it's very good uh, a good workout to do that actually so that's the first part of that then there'll be a chord change same riff different key going into first position so one blow to four blow use three blow on this occasion okay so I'm going one blow four blow three drop three blow three three draw half step and then all the way down to uh, two draw bent to two draw to three to half step back to this one okay and then uh, we're going to go to uh, the five chord One draw to four draw, three draw full step, four blow, then use a three blow again, to three draw full step, to four blow. Yeah, 
Um, and uh, although most of the time a uh, coach would tell you that two draws more important, uh, you should be using two draw rather than three blow just because of the bending ideas on it. Uh, there are times when you will use three blow. So it's very useful actually to have these. I know that some people change their hearts and tweak around the reeds or play hearts where they haven't got that configuration, but um, you can use it to your advantage for sure. And on that occasion, just drops you straight on to drop onto full bend straight off after that on the, on the three. Okay. Now for me in, in, in crosscut saw, I, I absolutely adore and love bass lines and um, rhythmic lines and it's, it, as a jazz player, as well as a jazz saxophonist for many years, um, you know, there's a point where, you know, either music started or ended, jazz had started or ended in 1949. <laughs> That's how we should look at it. Because when we get these bass figures in that Dizzy Gillespie and Bird put in, Charlie Clark put in, or the idea of it and, and the whole concept of music change and open up ways. And I kind of see this in blues also. Although we do go back into the 20s and 30s and 40s, we do dig deep into these great, rich, fantastic blues things. I still favour the figure idea, you know, and, and the 12 8 shuffle underneath and those kind of rhythms. And um, in fact, great, the great Eric Clapton did a version of this, and like Albert, Albert King, um, they're not versions that I kind of prefer. I prefer the. Um, Oh, I had a, a rare recording many years ago, a big Walter Horton, fan. I think he was playing with a pickup band, but he was playing crosscut saw, uh, kind of on these lines, that kind of thing, you know, but that groove, he wasn't playing the bass or the guitar figures, but he, he had that kind of, that more modern groove going on, in it with a, and he's a traditional kind of harp player, isn't he, big Walter, but that was great, and that's, that's kind of what I liked, so Eric's way, Two draw, three draw, four draw, five blow. Very easy to do on one of these. Four times, then we'll keep it simple. Um, one blow, two blow, three blow. One, two, one blow, two blow, three blow. Three door full step. You just have to remember that because if you play that in the centre part, a lot easier to do. Do that, and then you obviously play the um, the A or the C up. You play the six draw. Whereas down here, I just pitch it, but it's a full step. And then back to now the last bit, the five bit. One draw, two draw half step. Three draw, full step, three draw. Good practice, this one. Okay. Okay. If you do it in the middle of the harp, uh, you're going to need a five over blow. Do it at the prop, then you've got a little bit more, even more control at the top. So I use all three, but um, it's easier to do this one to start with. And then... in the five chord with the F5 over. And you can do it all over the place. So that's that kind of version. And you can practice doing that one. And that's a really good uh, good little workout for you. Um, and if you notice as well, when I'm playing on the start the end of this video, I do actually... Um, I use block chords at times just to fill in between some of the changes so uh, one of the other things that I coach on is wherever possible <clears throat> always look to um, to be able to substitute for block chords in certain areas okay but that's on a, on a full lesson I'm just here giving you the very basics of how I coach <clears throat> excuse me yeah for me um, you know I like that kind of figure idea uh, as opposed to, um, you know, boom, boom, boom. Because unless you're with, a, say, a guitarist on the street or in a club or somewhere, unless he's doing an awful lot of rhythmic shape, or they're putting a lot of substitute chords in like a jazz player would, they're going to have to do an awful lot of things 
to create something. Otherwise, it's going to stagnate. I've played a lot of, uh, as well as being a jazz actor, obviously I've played an awful lot of uh, blues guitar in my time um, and used, you know, bottle uh, open strings where you've got, you're using the bottom two lines as, as bass notes, you know, in that tradition. And that's kind of different with how you're working, but to get like a, a, a weaving line or get it getting a proper line going through it, it changes the structure, but it, uh, it opens up to do more uh, musically, I believe, um, and I, I find that sometimes things stagnate if uh, someone's just kind of chinking chords and someone's got a bass drum going boom, boom, boom. It's not bad or anything, I mean some people will really love it, but uh, in terms of trying to move the music forward, you know, so we're not kind of going backwards, we're evolving, uh, okay, <laughs> if that makes sense. Alright, well thumbs up and subscribe. Um, you can get me for lessons on half of the Healer Wix. We've got a Patreon site. You can uh, help support the channel. And guess what? I'll catch you on rebound.